Welcome to the WSO2 screenshot session on WSO2 API Manager 4.1.0 release. So today we are going to see how to expose a SOAP service as a RESTful API. So to begin with, uh, let's first see what are the SOAP services and what are the RESTful API. So SOAP standards are widely been used back in uh, those days as, as the the major uh, protocol for exposing uh, web services. So SOAP uh, services uh, are been widely used till today as, as a legacy services, web services. So SOAP services are mostly XML based protocol. Uh, the, the messages and, and, and the responses are all XML based. Um, so when it comes to today uh, the most uh, popular web service uh, are exposed as rest apis so rest api is a is a, um, a representational state transfer architecture style uh, protocol which has been widely used as as uh, rest web services so most uh, the, the rest full apis are, are using json based messages to transfer the data between client and the server so that's the quick introduction on what are the soap services and what are the rest apis so then let's start to uh, start our uh, screencast session on, on how to transform this uh, legacy soap service into a restful uh, uh, api using the integration studio so to begin with let's start uh, the integration studio uh, so for this uh, support we need to have uh, 810 release of the integration studio so once the integration studio is started up we need to create a new integration project let's name it as uh, so to rest uh, sample and click finish so then uh, you will see the the project in the left hand side this uh, soap to rest integration service or the project you need to right click on the esp config folder which is the core service configurations for enterprise integrator so you need to right click on this and add a new rest api when you going through this menu you can see as yes, option to generate a rest api from the vistal file so you can click next and then give a name for that api so i am going to demonstrate a calculator vistal service endpoint so i am going to name it as calculator service and then uh, I have two options. One is I can directly give the URL to the Vistal file located in the remote server or something like that. Or you can give a uh, zip file or, or, or a Vistal file directly. You can browse it and give the calculator service from your file directory. So this needs to be a Vistal file corresponding to your SOAP service. And then you need to give this uh, uh, SOAP service endpoint name some once you click finish it will automatically go through the digital file and relative uh, xsd files and generate this rest api for the enterprise integrator so if you are not familiar much with the rest api so the integration studio you can uh, definitely go through the our documentation and search for the integrator profile of the apim release so with the apm 41 release we have a uh, in micro integrator 41 release as well also alongside with the uh, integration studio 8.10 so this is the uh, generated uh, enterprise integrator uh, service artifact that you need to run on the server so as you can see uh, so our visual file has uh, for calculator services like addition multiplication and so on so with the corresponding visual file we have generated the swagger file 
and also the enterprise indicator artifacts so if you can go through this uh, swagger editor you can see the generated swagger file for the corresponding visual service that we provided so as you can see so there's this uh, calculator service generated for add multiplication and division and subtraction so as a reference i can uh, show you what we had in this calculator vista so here we had uh, four soap actions have calculator subtract multiply add and divide likewise we have message structures and those stuff as well and uh, also the data structure for that so this xsd file represents all the data structures so as you can see so generated uh, visual service visual file uh, we have uh, uh, resources for each of these uh, soap operations so likewise uh, if you go to this first resource it's for add uh, so this add what will do is what it will do is it will create a soap payload as you can see here so there's a generated body so this soap payload will be dynamically created in the runtime so if you send the payload json payload as uh, with the relative uh, in inputs it will automatically convert the json input to a xml based input and then send it to the soap endpoint that you specified and get the response back and convert it into json and respond back to the client so if you need to uh, check this out you can just right click on the composite exporter project which is our default exporter project for the server and run run as run on micro integrator so in here what happens is in the micro integrator the respective uh, soap service soap to rest transformation service will be run running on this server this is a micro integrator 41 release uh, built in so you can uh, with this in the ide itself you can try it out so this error is coming due to we don't have uh, some sort of service.com that's fine because demonstration purposes we we only have a, a dummy endpoint so with that we are concluding our screencast on converting a dress soap service to a restful service thank you all for joining this session